welcome back to Basic Home Cooking. Today, by special request from the household, aka Dana, I'll be making Zuppa Toscana. Zuppa! That's right, we're making some soup to kick off the year. And if you didn't know, Zuppa Toscana is a classic Olive Garden recipe. This recipe comes from Natasha's Kitchen, linked down in the description below. We'll, we'll see, to be determined, if it matches up with the real deal. So without further ado, let's get into it. That's pretty good soup. And all things considered, it didn't take that long. Warms you up, which is great because it's raining out here right now. I also like how the green of the kale and also, you know, kind of breaks it up so it's a little, little different. You got some of those greens in there. I do like that hot Italian sausage because, uh, you know, it adds a little bit, of, a little hint of spice, but not too much. You know, we should ask our resident Italian and also Olive Garden uh, go or patron to see what she thinks about uh, this Zuppa a Toscana. And I present Dana. You've seen her on some hikes, and if you're familiar with the Bill Bookman channel, of course you've seen her there. Today we're just Italians, so. We're just Italians today. No uh, good Italian enjoys the Olive Garden. <laughs> if this recipe is like Super Toscana at the Olive Garden, I will never have to go there. We <laughs> to go. It looks like it. Okay. Yeah. Visual's good. Oh my God. It Did tastes we do exactly it? like it. That's it? No, it tastes exactly like it. Hey, if you want the deliciousness of that Zuppa Toscana, you never have to go to the Olive Garden again. This is great. No, you need to make the breadsticks next. <laughs> All right. I feel like I've seen that around. So to be determined, Zupa TBD. Toscana and the breadsticks. So, okay, we'll see if we can lock that down sometime. And there you have it, Zuppa Toscana. Uh, as always, thanks so much for watching. Uh, until next time, keep on cooking. <laughs> <laughs> she knows. <laughs>